As a lot of you guys know, I have two cats. One is the epitome of a good girl. 10 out of 10, only has one brain cell, and super friendly to everyone. And the other, well, she likes to get into trouble. Every day I'm sure to wake up to... Oreo refuses to use any scratchers, and boy, have I tried. She prefers carpet. Cool. She loves the feeling of soft carpet against a wall. They really need to make scratchers like that. <laughs> if only. I'm actually not really sure why they haven't yet. It seems to be a common cat problem. I've tried training her, but she refuses to use anything I give her. I've gone through like 10 different ones. So I guess that's not gonna change. Oreo loves food, all right? She's a feisty cat, but she's really shy. Not when food's involved, though. Even if it's a stranger, her drive for food will outweigh any social anxiety she has. Which causes huge problems when I try to eat. She thinks she's super sneaky, but she fails every time. For some reason, she's fascinated with apples. I'm not sure if it's the color or the texture or... Stop touching my food! She loves licking the floor for any scraps of food that might exist, and she digs in the trash. Like, what, what is she, a dog? I recently changed my cat's food to raw, so they went from eating from an automatic feeder to bowls. And because of this, I have to feed them on opposite ends of the room. Otherwise, Oreo will go up to Snake and intimidate her, trying to get her to leave so she can get two dinners. Ba -ba 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 boy, ba -ba boy. <laughs> I don't let it happen, but man, is it a pain to deal with. What did you think was gonna happen, you twerp? Oreo loves sprinting around the house so much that I just call her monkey half the time. She loves instigating fights with Snake. Most of the time, they'll use the table and chairs as their arena and go at each other. Snake gets sick of her attacks every once in a while and decides to show her who's the real boss. <laughs> but the worst thing Oreo has ever done happened about a year ago. So one day, I was in the kitchen cooking up a dish that required some canned tuna. I figured it'd be okay if I let them lick the spoon, so I called over Snake to give it a sniff. Snake is a super picky eater, but she was intrigued. She walked over and right as she lifted her nose to the spoon... Uh... what the... That smack was loud! Super loud, I didn't even know what happened! Oreo had smacked Snake so hard, it shocked me. You know, I've heard of food aggression, but this takes it to the next level, and Snake was just stunned on the ground. The poor girl was terrified and ran away. So, uh, now that she's gone, I can lick the spoon, right? I went around searching the house and finally found her behind the couch. I tried to console her, but I, I think she thought I was the one that hit her. Imagine you're just this little tiny creature and you trust this giant to give you a little snack and they hit you on the head for no reason. How am I supposed to explain to her that I didn't do it? That's the one thing that sucks about having pets is you can't exactly talk to them. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll figure out how, but for now, I just had to wait until she was comfortable enough to realize I wasn't a threat. Once she realized that she wasn't in danger, she came and found me and decided to cuddle. Over the years, Oreo has mellowed out. She's more of an adult cat now, which, thank goodness, I guess she finally realized that you don't have to fight for food in this household. <laughs>